My story of the week, and up with Chris Hayes exclusive. Speaker Boehner's lobbying buddies are proposing a hit job on Occupy Wall Street. This week, here at UP, we obtained a memo written for the American Bankers Association that lays out a plan for a nearly $1 million campaign against Occupy Wall Street and any politicians who might express sympathy for Occupy Wall Street, including specific Democratic politicians in contested races. The memo was prepared by the Washington lobbying firm Clark, Lytle, Geduldig, and Cranford, or CLGC for short. Two of the partners at the firm are former aides to Speaker John Boehner and the firm's website boasts of its closeness to the current speaker. Prepared as a pitch document for the American Bankers Association, a client of CLGC, the memo lays out the political threat Occupy Wall Street poses for the banks and their sworn defenders in the Republican Party. Democratic victories in 2012, the authors write, would mean more than just short-term political discomfort for Wall Street firms. It has the potential to have very long-lasting political, policy, and financial impacts on the companies in the center of the bullseye. So here we have, in black and white, former Boehner aides who now lobby for Wall Street, admitting Democrats will be tougher on Wall Street, and they also admit that Occupy Wall Street and emboldened Democrats might push Republicans to distance themselves from Wall Street's bigger firms. The bigger concern, in the words of the memo's authors, quote, should be that Republicans will no longer defend Wall Street companies. In order to head off this terrifying eventuality, the memo proposes a program of opposition research on Occupy Wall Street activists, which, quote, will also identify opportunities to construct fact-based negative narratives of the OWS for high-impact media placement to expose the backers. They admit that individual companies under threat by OWS and its adoption by Democrats likely will not be the best spokespeople for their own cause because, well, everyone hates the bankers. So the former Boehner aides who now lobby for Wall Street sketch out a strategy of deploying proxies to shill for Wall Street and against Occupy without the public knowing. The former Boehner aides also urge big banks to punish politicians who target them early on in order to send a message. Quote, a big challenge is to demonstrate that these companies still have political strength and that making them a political target will carry a severe political cost. And they say that a strong media placement early in a transition to adopt the OWS movement will send a powerful signal about the risks of carrying that through. One goal of this campaign, the former Boehner aides turned Wall Street lobbyists right, is to, quote, provide cover for political figures who defend the industry. They are proposing a campaign using Wall Street money to defend Wall Street's political allies and specifically targeting Democratic politicians for re-election who might stand up to Wall Street. Naming Ohio Senator Sherrod Brown and identifying Senate races in Florida, Pennsylvania, Virginia, Wisconsin, and New Mexico for targeting as well. It was always clear that if Occupy Wall Street began to have some success, it would precipitate a massive backlash from the powers that be. And now we've seen this week, as I said, the empire strike back. We placed a call to Clark, Lytle, Gedeldig, and Cranford to ask them about the memo, and they did not respond. The American Bankers Association told us, quote, our government relations staff did receive the proposal, it was unsolicited, and we chose not to act on it in any way. Nevertheless, what's contained in this short memo are all of the most craven, corrupt, and insidious forces of the status quo coming together to squash Occupy. In fact, the document represents just about everything wrong with America in four short pages. We have a lobbying firm whose webpage glowingly advertises that Sam Gedeldig, a former Boehner staffer, quote, knows how to kill legislative threats to his clients, drawing up a battle plan for the financial industry and its 1% members to use their deep pockets to attack the Occupy movement and protect the bank's financial interests by creating, quote, political cover for bank-friendly policies. And while doing this, they would, of course, have the help and connections of fellow partner Jake Cranford, who just a few short months ago was working as a policy aide to Speaker Boehner. Here's the thing to consider. This is the most important point. This is just one memo from one firm that we just happened to get our hands on. Think for a moment of how many similar documents are floating around out there, how much money and power is being amassed to make sure that Occupy Wall Street is just a brief fad, a quirky cultural moment we'll all vaguely recall years hence. That's if the 1% get their way. We'll post the memo on our website, up.msnbc.com, after the program's over. I'll be talking about this story on weekends with Alex Witt right after the program. And on Up tomorrow, Senator Sherrod Brown joins us to respond to the plan.